Hello. If you didn't know already, my name is Joy, and today it's nothing special. I just want to talk about my experience being in Japan so far, as well as my day today. So, the reason why I'm in Japan right now is because I am studying abroad. I am currently enrolled in a language school. Um, and today was my first day. Okay, before I get into that, so my my entrance ceremony and orientation was on the 6th of April. Today is the 10th. So on that day, I also had the option to take a placement exam to see where they put me at in terms of classes. The placement test wasn't mandatory, but if you didn't take the test, they put you in the beginner level. And they gave us a little sample test. If you couldn't understand anything on the sample exam, you could not take the placement exam. And I couldn't understand everything on here, but I feel like I understood enough. So I took the placement exam, started my classes today, and I feel like so far so good. I've been studying Japanese by myself for a very long time, so it's kind of different being in a classroom setting. Uh, I got this right here. Um, classroom vocabulary and we, oh I forgot to mention so at my language school we're learning Japanese in Japanese so everyone comes from a different place in the world learning Japanese so on the sheet it has different languages on there translating everything not only am I the only black person in my class, but I'm also the only American. I noticed that most of most of my classmates are Asian. There's a lot of Chinese people, Korean people, Thai people, Vietnamese people. There's one Italian person and one person from Ukraine. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so I got this. Oh, there's more on the back, but I already know greetings. So I just forwarded to this right here. Everything that I'm not familiar with, I starred. A little packet for that corresponds with stuff we're working on in the book. Hiragana and Katakana practice. I didn't learn Hiragana formally, so like as you can see, apparently I don't know how to write G properly. And my sensei wrote this because I don't know how to write it. <laughs> so I think it's cool that we got here without our katakana practice because, you know, I never formally learned here and katakana. Like, I can look at it, I can read it, and my writing is decent. And katakana, I, I learned katakana by just looking at it and trying to figure it out because it'll be like a word that's written in katakana and then the hiragana will be under it so because i know the hiragana i'd be like oh okay that's what that is and vice versa so i never really sat down and learned katakana so this is cool we'll be looking on that numbers 
I reviewed numbers before I got here because I knew I was about to be handling money. So I reviewed that. And I didn't know that there's like certain pitches for within certain words. So my teacher told me to say the word ecky. And I was saying it wrong. And I was just looking at her and she was looking at me and I'm like, what's, what's going on? So that just changed like everything for me and I need to learn Japanese all over again. I gotta, I gotta learn it all. I don't know if the volume's kind of low. I'm, I'm trying to speak low because I am in a share house. And I have roommates, and I'm trying to keep the volume low. It's like 8 o'clock right now. I don't know what they got going on, but I'm trying to keep my volume low. I'll get into the share house thing later. But let me finish talking about my day. Okay, so we also got the textbook. She told us to review from page 8 to 11, I believe. We worked on like a lot of self-introduction today, uh, introducing people, wa, des, mo, des, ja arimasen. Dare, dare desu ka? Doko kara kimashita ka? You know, stuff like that. Um, I was a little confused because I didn't know what was homework and what was not. Like, I remember her saying that. This sheet right here was homework. I gotta do this tonight before I go to bed. Like, I am tired. I am tired. The jet lag has been kicking my butt. Ever since I got here, I've been going to bed at 6, between 6 and 8 p.m. and waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Going back to bed and waking back up at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. But anyway, so I gotta do this front and back before I go to bed. And then I have to do these two pages. I just need to translate these words into English. I feel like if I didn't know any Japanese at all, like this would really be beating me up, bro. Beating me down. But because I do know, like, this is kind of light work right now. Light work. I ain't, I ain't impressed, but I feel like at this rate, like all the stuff that we got today and that we went over today, if we keep up with that pace, I feel like I might be like, ooh, this is kind of difficult, but we'll see. We'll see. Ah, the share house. So, I might make another video about my, how this all came about, but... I applied for my language school that I'm at through Gogo Nihon and I also applied for my housing through Gogo Nihon as well. So I'm currently in a share house that's about 15 minutes away from my school by train. It's like a 40 minute walk. And I kind of cried when I first got here because it's just such a drastic change. Like I feel like I'm in a box. This is this is my room. That's rutabaga, my squishmallow. And that's my blankets. I got a dresser over there, refrigerator, and a little storage space. And that's it. That is it. Like, I gotta, oh, and my desk. I'm sitting at my desk. I must find things to do here. I gotta explore because I cannot, I 
can I be in this box all day? I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the box. But I cannot be in here all day. And I'm trying to remind myself, like, hey, I don't have to be in here. There is a common space. But it's very small. The share house is small. I'm not complaining. I just gotta, I just gotta adjust, okay? I just gotta adjust. Um... talk about my placement test a little more okay so I knew that I knew some Japanese but I also know that my Japanese ain't up there you know and she was like oh well if you can't understand anything on the placement test then you can't take the the real test and I was like what I'm taking this test because I'm not about to be in no super beginner class. That, no, no, that is not for me. So, I, I walked into the room. It was time. I got the test. It was a thick packet. Oh, wait, hold on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh. Okay, on the placement exam, it says... <clears throat> I mean, the, the practice placement exam, it says, students who can understand what is written in this sample and who can write the essay in Japanese, you can take the placement test. Students who cannot understand this sample nor write the essay in Japanese, skip the placement test. So I knew that I could probably take the test, but the essay, we might have a problem. So I did it anyway. Regardless, I, I had to prove to them that I'm not a super beginner, so I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be in a beginner class. Um, so I don't really understand what the questions were asking me. I'd look at the, the example. To be honest, I didn't even read what they told me to do. I just looked at the example and whatever they they did whether it was conjugation or something like that i just used that as a basis for the rest of them so that's what i did i feel like personally i was eating up on that test i was eating up and i purposely left some blank and i got some wrong because like i said i didn't want to be in a super advanced class where i'm struggling but i also didn't want to be in the beginning class so i wanted a class that was just right just right for me um, so considering all the, the stuff that we went over today and the packet, the packets, the book, this might be just right, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. I will keep you updated. Uh, but anyway, thank you for listening. I'm going to do my homework eat my little salad that I got in the refrigerator and I'm gonna call it a night and go to school again tomorrow.